Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna talk about creating professional and clean titles between the workflow of Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. Hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. This is a really essential tutorial because we're gonna be talking about the workflow between creating you know, motion graphic titles between After Effects and Premiere, which enables you to have unlimited possibilities with the animation and design in After Effects, but allow you to adjust you know, any parameters inside of Adobe Premiere, like the source text, color, and other important parameters. So this video is gonna show you how to create this awesome title and how to have an awesome workflow between After Effects and Premiere. But before we jump into the video, I want to say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. So we're here over in After Effects and this is the title we're going to create and bring over to Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial composition. The only thing I have in here is our titles already placed out. So let's go ahead and design this title to where we have options in Adobe Premiere to change some of these parameters. And we'll get started with you know animating all this. So what we're going to do first is talk about the design. So we come here and grab the rectangle tool and it's you know, usually nice when you have a title that has just a little bit of creative thought behind it. And I just really want to enable you to do a handful of different techniques with this short tutorial. So we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool and you click on the word stroke and set it to none and click OK. So now the only thing we have here is the fill. And what I like to do is perhaps draw out a rectangle that covers our you know subtitle. And then we can bring this layer underneath our titles like so. And we'll come here to the fill color and we can change the color of this to, you know, whatever we want. So I'll do like a nice, you know, light blue there. And then I like to go up to edit duplicate and this shape will be duplicated. And I like to move this up. So go to position and just move it up, you know, shorten this up by a little bit. And then we'll bring this back down and boom. So now we have a nice symmetrical title like this. And now we can begin animating. So there's a handful of things that we can do. So one, I'll rename this to top and I'll rename the bottom shape layer to bottom. So to animate this, what I'll do is hit P on my keyboard for position and I'll add a keyframe for it. And we'll move this keyframe forward in time so we know this will be locked in place. And maybe we'll go to like almost a second. And then we'll bring down the position down below our main title. So maybe we'll start it down here. So what I like to do here is kind of close this up. So let's come here to the contents, go to the rectangle one, go to the rectangle path one, Break the chain for size, add a keyframe for size, move that keyframe forward until, you know, the, you know, last keyframe and then bring the Y size down to zero. So now this will just reveal on like this. And that looks cool. And then make all these keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And then we'll go ahead and animate the bottom shape layer. And then what we'll do here is we'll do the same thing. Hit P on your keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move it forward by a little bit. So once this one's animated up, this one will come down. So then we'll bring this all the way to the top like so. So now you'll have that. And we'll do the same thing. Go into the contents, go into rectangle one, go into rectangle path one, uh, add a keyframe for size, move that keyframe to the last keyframe, break the chain and set the Y size down to zero. And then let's go ahead and bring down the initial, you know, position to be underneath our top border and you just get that. So now let's go ahead and reveal on our titles with our animation of our shapes. So this is very easy to do. So what we'll do is go to After Effects, our main title, and we'll grab the rectangle tool. And simply all we're gonna wanna do is create like a mask on top of our title like so. And then we'll come here, open up mask path, open up mask one, add a keyframe for mask path. And only thing we want to do is have this follow the rectangle line until it's done animating. And then we'll grab our selection tool and we'll bring this up like so. Set the uh, mode to subtract and make both of these keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And this should just follow the path. If you have any you know, issues, just make sure to you know, bring it down by a little bit. That looks good. And then the only thing I would suggest, put the top border on top of the main title layer so it blends in there very well. And that looks good. Then for our, you know, subtitle here what we can do is duplicate the bottom shape layer bring the bottom shape layer on top of our subtitle uh, toggle switch the modes until you see the track mat and set for the track and set the track mat for your subtitle to uh, alpha mat so now boom that will only come on as the rectangle is revealed on like so and then you just hit u on your keyboard to bring up all the keyframes and make sure everything's easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on your keyboard and we can of course you know 
tighten things up as we see fit. So here is our entire title animation right here and it looks good to go and ready to bring over to Premiere. If you want to animate it out, you can go ahead, but the purpose of the tutorial is to show you how to create a title animation and bring it over to Premiere that you can edit inside of Premiere. So let's go ahead and jump into that and let's get started. So what we're going to want to do is go up to window and go to essential graphics. All right, here's essential graphics. And all we have to do is go to master, select composition and select the composition you're working with. I was working with Tut because it's a tutorial. And of course you can set a poster frame by clicking that and we know that this is this composition rename it to you know whatever you need it to be so now we got to start bringing in you know parameters so what we can do here is check on solo supported properties and this will show us all the properties that we can bring into essential graphics now i only want to bring in a handful of things so for example let's go ahead and go into our title go to after effects go to text and i want to bring in source text into our essential graphics window and we might want to call this main title and then obviously i'm going to want to do that for our you know subtitle if we have one and we'll bring that in there and we can call it subtitle and from here you can even change the titles from the essential graphics window so you know you can be like whatever you want it to be so you know very easy to do um, and you're gonna be able to do this in Premiere and let's go ahead and add some more parameters in here so we have some further control so so one thing we do is go into our shape layers go to contents and maybe go into the fill and we can add say our color so we could be like um, you know top color and then you can change the color very easily so I'd like to bring in the parameter for size however we already have keyframes here and if I bring in this parameter for the size and someone changes the size in you know Premiere it's gonna add an extra keyframe it's not gonna look that good so sometimes you're gonna be a little extra creative and I'll just hit S on my keyboard for scale and here's our scale and what I'll do here is I can break the chain for scale and bring this into our you know central graphics we want to expand the border I can easily do so and we have that control so I'll just do a uh, top scale. So I have everything that I want in Adobe Premiere ready to go. However, uh, is this is not organized properly. It's a little bit hard to look at when you first, you know, start glancing over what parameters you can change. So to organize things, what we can do is go to add formatting here at the bottom and click on add comment. And then we can rename the comment to say main title and bring this to the top. And then we can go ahead and add another comment, delete the comment. And then we can put this between the main title parameter. So boom, we know there's a blank space there. And then we can add another comment, do a subtitle. Boom, go to add comment, put that underneath the subtitle. And now the organization is so much better and easy to look at and we can find exactly what we need without having to struggle too much. And obviously take a look that I put everything in caps for the categories and you know things are ready to go and bring over to adobe premiere so when you're done uh go ahead and click on export motion graphics template and you, know, you might need to save and it'll ask you where you want to save it local templates folder is usually good to go and then click on ok and now you're ready to edit this in adobe premiere so here we are in adobe premiere and we want to bring in our title so we'll go to window and click on essential graphics and it's the essential graphics uh, window will pop up here. Make sure local templates folder is checked if you saved it to your local templates folder. And I already have a handful of templates in here, but I'll go down all the way to our, you know, title template that we created. And all the thing I have to do is just drag it, you know, click it, drag it, and bring it into our timeline. And it'll load up. So now our entire title animation is here, and you know it's ready to go. And we go over to our essential graphics edit, uh, you know, window here. We can change all those parameters that we created. So you know, if I can change the title here to whatever I want, and, you know, now we have the ability just to continue come through here and, you know, change things out and, you know, completely rearrange the title in Adobe Premiere so we can update the title depending on what it needs to say and the color palette it needs to be. And so that is the power of being able to create titles and you know, motion graphic templates inside of After Effects and having them, you know, ready to go for Adobe Premiere. So now we can use this for multiple projects without having to jump into After Effects. And we don't even have to render it from After Effects. It renders right here from Adobe Premiere. So that is really awesome. And one of the powers of being able to create your own motion graphics through the Essential Graphics, uh, you know, panel through Premiere and After Effects. And since we're on the topic of creating titles in After Effects and making them editable in Adobe Premiere, one of my favorite packs for After Effects is called Typo King, which is a kinetic typography a uh, title kit with 555 animated titles that has its own user interface inside of After Effects and they're all pre-made essential graphics 
for Adobe Premiere so you don't have to do any of that linking from After Effects to Premiere. And you get 555 of these animated titles in a handful of different categories and you can easily find a title that works best for your project whether you're working in After Effects or Adobe Premiere. And if you want to learn more about Typo King and take a look at all the 555 titles, you can check our links in the video description. I'll take you right over to Typo King. So that wraps up this title workflow tutorial between After Effects and Adobe Premiere. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post at least two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.